Thou art worthy. Thou art worthy. Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory, glory and honor, glory and honor. unto the Lord all ye lands serve the Lord with gladness come before his presence with singing know ye that the Lord he is God it is he that hath made us and not we ourselves we are his people and the sheep of his pasture enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise be thankful unto him and bless his name for the Lord is good his mercy is everlasting and his truth endureth to all generations. Can we praise the Lord? Hallelujah. Come on, let's sing. Sing a happy song. Let's sing it loud. Let's sing it strong. Let's sing about Jesus who set us free. Get my life a brand new song, a sweet melody. Come on, let's sing. Sing a happy song. Let's sing it now. Let's sing it strong. Let's sing about Jesus who set us free. He gave my life a brand new song, a sweet melody. Come on, let's sing. Let's sing it strong Let's sing about 
Burn it down. 
glory, glory. Hallelujah. If I lay my burden down, I'm going home to be with Jesus. If I lay my burden down, I'm going home to be with Jesus. If I lay my burden down. As I lay my burden down, oh, glory, glory, hallelujah. As I lay my burden down, Woo, glory to God, glory to God. Oh, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Oh, I, I feel like praising, praising him. I feel like praising, praising him. Praise him in the morning, praise him all day long. I feel like praising, praising him. Oh, yes, I feel like praising, praising him. Yes, I feel like praising, praising Him. Oh, praise Him in the morning, praise Him all day long. I feel like praising, praising Him. Oh, yes, I feel like praising, praising Him. I feel like praising, praising Him. Oh, praise Him in the morning, praise Him all day long. I feel like praising, praising Him. Oh, I feel like praising, praising Him. Yes, I feel like praising, praising Him. Praise Him in the morning. Praise Him all day long. I feel like praising, praising Him. Oh, this could be my last chance to praise the Lord. This might be my last chance to praise the Lord. So I'm going to praise Him in the morning. Praise Him all day long. I feel like praising, praising Him. Oh, I feel like praising, praising Him. I feel like praising, praising Him. I'm going to praise Him in the morning. Praise Him all day long. I feel like praying and praising Him. Yes, I feel like praying and praising Him. Yes, I feel like praying and praising Him. I'm going to praise Him in the morning. Praise Him all day long. I'm going to praise Him in the morning. Praise Him all day long.
Praise his name. I love to praise him. I love to praise his name. I love to praise his holy name. I love to praise him. I love to praise his name. I love to praise him. I love to praise his name. I love to praise him. I love to praise His name. I love to praise His holy name. I love to praise Him. I love to praise His name. I love to praise Him. I love to praise His name. I love to praise Him. I love to praise His name. I love to praise His holy name. I love to praise Him. I love to praise His name. I love to praise Him. I love to praise His name. I love to praise Him. I love to praise His name. Oh, I love to praise Him. Oh, I love to praise Him. I love to praise Him. I love to praise His name. I love to praise Him. I love to praise His name. Oh, oh, I love to praise His name. I love to praise Him. I love to praise His name. I love to praise Him. I love to praise His name. I love to praise. I love to praise the name. Oh, I love to praise the name. For he's my rock, my rock, my rock, my Lord, my shield. He's the wheel, the wheel in the middle of the wind, and he will never, never, never be down. For he's the good.
at the temple. Praise him, everyone. Praise him, ye hills and valleys. Praise him, rocks and streams. Somebody praise him with the tambourine. Somebody praise him with the tambourine. Praise him every day. Come on, let's praise him. Oh, let everything praise the King of Kings. Mount the organ, bring the mount the crown, bring the mount the temple, bring the every part, bring the hills and valleys, bring the rocks and streams, bring the river and the valley, bring the river and the valley. Yeah. 
the Lord tonight. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Woo, hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. The world doesn't uh, approve of us. They think we're uh, crazy and we're a little fanatic and radical, but that's okay. Hallelujah. Amen. You don't know like I know what he's done for me. Praise. You can't tell it like I can what he's done for me. I get joy when I think about what he has done for me. He's been so good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I cannot tell it all. He brought me out of darkness into his marvelous light. Praise God tonight. Praise God tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may be seated. Thank you, Lord, tonight. Amen. Thank the Lord tonight for his wonderful presence, for his goodness. Truly, the Lord is, is, is great and greatly to be praised. My, 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 hallelujah, amen, amen, God, thank God, amen, he, he's a, a life changer, amen, he's a, a deliverer, he's a savior, praise God, amen, he's everything I've needed him to be, and so much more, amen, I want to thank the Lord for his presence tonight, and it's good to have Jerry and Carlos with us here tonight, amen, hallelujah, <laughs> thank the Lord, hallelujah, amen, thank God for church tonight, Brother Diaz. So which one is Jerry? Hey, Jerry. Good, good. Carlos over here. Praise God. Amen. All right. Thank you for coming tonight. And I heard a little bit about Brother Diaz and uh, Brother Jonathan at, uh, meeting you at the park. And uh, amen. God works miracles. God's in the working. Amen. God is working with souls and touching people's heart. And I want to thank that, the Lord for that. And I want to thank God for the message this morning. I've got a few more minutes to go to finish listening to that message. Thank God, amen, amen. God is, uh, does he, it's an abomination to sacrifice your children unto uh, false gods, and God doesn't like that, and God hated it, amen. And I'm glad tonight that I know who Jesus is, and, and I'm glad he saved my soul. I am glad that he brought me out of darkness into his marvelous light, amen. And uh, I thought about uh, 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 Hannah praying unto the Lord and offering, giving Samuel, lending Samuel to the Lord, and then the Apostle Paul, amen. Now, now Jephthah said that to his, the, made that vow. But the Apostle Paul made that vow himself. Praise God. He said, hey, I'm going to live for the Lord. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just do what God wants me to do. I'm going to preach the word of the Lord. And amen, he uh, didn't get married. But amen, he had so many children in the Lord. Amen. And, and just the word of God that he wrote down, that he inspired God to write and to preach the message and I want to thank God tonight for the Apostle Paul, amen, that was, he was uh, self-sacrificing and he wasn't selfish, and, but he gave his all to the Lord, amen, and, and he wrote that scripture, says that uh, present your bodies a living sacrifice. <laughs> I thank God tonight that we can present our bodies a living sacrifice unto the Lord, holy and acceptable unto God, which is our reasonable service. And thank God tonight, amen, and for the visitors we had this morning, I heard we had some, some more, uh, visitors and Sister Alexa, I guess I heard that her dad came as well. Praise God. Thank the Lord for that. Amen, amen, amen. And it's good to have, uh, see little children worshiping the Lord. And little Ga uh, Ga uh, Gabriel, amen, junior, or Gordo. <laughs> My brother Tino, he was a junior, uh, Ruben Tino, and, but he nickname was Gordo. So growing up, that's all I knew him by was Gordo. I didn't know he was my, my, my Ruben Tino name, my dad's name. I didn't know that, but I knew Gordo. <laughs> but isn't the Lord wonderful here tonight? Amen. We could be some. We could be. I was. We could be someplace else, but we're here tonight. Amen. And I gave my time and my money years ago to the world, to the devil, wasting it uh, uh, on the games and all that stuff out there in the world and and the stadiums and the coliseums. And but tonight I'm in the church of the living God. Amen. Thank the Lord tonight. Hallelujah. I'm not wasting my time tonight. I'm not wasting my time coming to the house of the Lord and praying and worshiping him. And I'm hurting tonight. I had some bad news from the doctor. Amen. It, it's 50% torn. Uh, 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 what, what is that the muscle again? The hamstring. Amen. Amen. But I said, we're going to go conservative. We're going to go to treatment of conservative until something else goes on. But, but I, I'm still running for Jesus here tonight. Not as fast, but I'm still trying to run for the Lord here tonight. Thank the Let's give the Lord another hand clap of praise here tonight. Hallelujah, I feel like praising him. 
I'm not like I'm not as young as I was, and I'm not really like I was, but I still want to praise the Lord. Praise God, praise God, praise God. There was somebody tonight who want to stand and testify. Me, amen. Amen. Sister Abigail. I thank the Lord to be here tonight. I thank the Lord for his goodness, for his mercy, for all that he's done. He's a worthy, he's a wonderful God, and he's worthy to be praised. And I just appreciate amen. him tonight. Praise the, Praise the Lord. Anybody else? want to praise the Lord. What a beautiful presence of God here tonight. Yes. And he's worthy to be praised and worthy to be worshipped. And um, I was reminded of um, sometimes I'll make a really good meal and I know it's a good meal. And so I'm like, well, honey, what do you think? It's all right. And I'm like, it's better than all right. He says, okay, okay. You know what? I want to say, God is better than all right. He's more than marvelous, more than wonderful, than my mind can ever dream. He's more than wonderful. He's more than good. He's more than worthy of our praise. Yes. And I just want to praise him. I want to worship him. He's our savior, our redeemer. He's, we can't just say he's all right. I really don't like that song, brother, because <laughs> I just like, you know, we're singing. I'm like, God, you're not all right. You're wonderful. You're mighty. You're marvelous. Amen. You're worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. And I want to worship him and praise him tonight. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Mama. Wonderful. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Somebody else tonight. I thank the Lord to be in his house. I thank the Lord for the strength and for the protection. I thank him for he is a good God. He loved me and took care of me even yes. before I knew him. I love him and it's a privilege. It's an honor to be yes. to serve him. Praise the Lord. Woo, hallelujah. Thank God. Anybody else tonight? Praise God. I'm glad to be in God's house one more time. God's been oh, good yes. to me. Uh, he, he's given me so much. He's blessed me so much. And I just want to make heaven my home. God is good to us. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. It's good to be here in the house of the Lord again one more time. I want to thank God for his presence. Yes. That we can feel the sanctuary, and just listening to Sister Lori's testimony, you know that's a beautiful feeling to know that he's more than wonderful. He's more than that. He's more than all of those things, Brother Getica. He's our everything. Mm -hmm. I want to thank God for his beautiful presence, his guidance, his precious holy word. And I was thinking about what we used to be in the world, Brother Getica. And now today what we are, and not because of our own goodness, but it's the goodness of the Lord, the Bible yes. says, that leadeth us to repentance. Yes. Thank God again for those things. Le doy gracias a Dios porque somos un pueblo agradecido, hermano Getica. Somos un pueblo que ha sido rescatado por la mano de Dios. Anteriormente, estas cosas eran muy diferentes para nosotros. Yes. Pero ahora las practicamos y estamos muy agradecidos porque el Dios de Israel nos ha rescatado. Pero voy a leer las Sagradas Escrituras rápidamente. Nos dice el apóstol San Pedro, dice, Mas vosotros sois linaje escogido, real sacerdocio, nación santa, pueblo adquirido por Dios, para que denunciéis las virtudes de aquel que os llamó de las tinieblas a su luz admirable. Y es lo que podemos escuchar en esta noche los testimonios. Somos un pueblo agradecido que vamos a anunciar las virtudes. ¿De quién? 
de Jesucristo De aquel que os llamó de las tinieblas a su luz admirable Vosotros que en otro tiempo no erais pueblo Pero que ahora sois pueblo de Dios Que en otro tiempo no habíais alcanzado misericordia Pero ahora habéis alcanzado misericordia Gracias a Dios por su eterna misericordia Hacia su pueblo Gracias a Dios por darnos de su nombre yeah. En las aguas del bautismo Le doy gracias a nuestro Dios Cuando invocamos el nombre de Jesús Él nos lavó de todo pecado The Bible says By ye are a chosen generation A royal priesthood yeah. And holy nation A peculiar people That you should show forth the praises of him Who had called you out of darkness Into his marvelous light Who was that? That was the Lord Jesus Thank God because when we call upon his name yeah. in the waters of baptism, all our sins are remitted by his powerful name, which in time past were no day people. I want to thank God because today we are a Amen. very thankful people, Brother Katika, because before we could not praise God. But tonight God gave us the privilege to praise yeah. his holy name, which in time past were no day people, but ye are now the people of God, which have not obtained mercy which had not obtained mercy, but now had obtained mercy. Yeah. Thank God for the mercies of God. To glory be unto his name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Amen. Thank the Lord. Anybody else tonight? Praise God. Anybody else tonight? Good day. Thank you. Yeah. Merciful Lord. He loved me. Yeah. Before I before I loved him, he already loved me. Mm -hmm. Before I born, he knows my heart. Yeah. yeah. And I'm so thankful to be here in the house of the Lord. Yeah. I cannot forget what the Lord freed me from. Mm -hmm. I was in this world. No kind of stuff. And the Lord delivered me. By the alcohol. Drugs. My, my, my family almost destroyed. This world, they put families. They separate yeah. family. But the Lord put it together. And the, and the world, they cannot separate. What the Lord put together. Because if we let it, the world can separate. But we have the Lord. He's more powerful than this world. Yeah. And I'm thankful to be here in the house of the Lord. I cannot forget. You know, when I was in the world, he'd ring me. Have the bottles under the bed. Drinking. I cannot, I cannot quit, brother. You know, wake up in the morning and start again. Try to quit. You cannot, I cannot quit. Mm -hmm. But on tempo, one day, the Lord Jesus Christ, he knows what I need. Yeah. I, he knows I need help. They reached down and changed my life around. Yeah. And that's the reason I'm here today. For his mercy and his love. Because this world is not my home. Mm -hmm. I served with this world a long time. Mm -hmm. I, for me, when the Lord came in my life, I said, it's enough. Serve this world. I'm going to serve the King of Kings, the Lord, the Lord. Yeah. And I'm going to serve every day, taking me in this world. Because I'm just passing through. I want to see the one who died for me in Calvary. Yeah. The one they died in the cross. They did, they did a sacrifice for me and for everybody 
they're going to accept him. And I'm thankful the Lord put that in my heart, accept him. And I'm going to go follow him every step of the way. Because I'm going to run my last mile home. Yes. And I'm going to see the King of Kings, the Lord, the Lord. Amen. I give you all the glory and honor. It's a beautiful life living for the Lord. Yes. yes. Amen. 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 Thank the Lord. Beautiful life. Anybody else? Yeah. And every time Brother Jaime testified that he wanted to live for God, you know, all through, you know, that some people made up their mind when they follow Jesus, they'll follow Jesus to the end of this journey. And uh, some people just uh, quit. And then, but I remember I was 12 years old, enslaving and have no place to go. If they use me one day, they don't need me anymore, just tell me to pack and go, and no uncertain place to go. But God took care of me before I even knew him. Yeah. And 12 years old, I heard uh, somebody die on a cavalry for me, and I got angry. I got angry, so angry. My father and mother brought me into this world and left me orphan. I'm enslaving for people. And uh, why would anybody don't even know me died on the Calvary for me? And I don't believe that. I do not like to be told lies. And, oh, Brother Gatika, I, I, I remember that all through life until I was old enough uh, to realize that who Jesus was. And uh, my husband, uh, when I met him, he, he he loved me more than anything else in this world. And I thought he loved me more than anybody else in Korea, but he got somebody else in the United States. So I told him I will not marry him unless he loved me more than anything else in this world or any other world. And he's, he, even point of a him losing me, he could not bring himself to tell me that he loved me more than Jesus. He said, Miss Guan, I cannot tell you I love you more than I love Jesus. And I realized Jesus, Jesus. I asked translator, who's Jesus? Yesu Christo. I know in Spanish, Yesu Christo, but in Korea, Yesu Christo. And from that time on, I want to know him. I want to serve him. Many years gone by, I have never forgotten. And he gave me opportunity to know him and serve him. The very best thing in my life ever happened to me. I love him. I will serve him for the rest yeah. of my life, like Brother Jaime said. He means more to me than anything else in this whole wide world. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And uh, such a wretched soul like me that he showed mercy that I could serve him. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else tonight? Estoy agradecido de estar en la casa del Señor esta noche. I'm thankful to be in the house of the Lord tonight. Es una muy buena bendición estar en la casa del Señor. Amen. It's a great blessing to be in the house of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> I'm so grateful to be here tonight. I'm glad I made this choice of my life change. Yeah. It took me a little long, but I'm glad I finally followed my heart. Amen. If I would have known what I was missing out on, I would have changed my life a long time ago. Yeah. I'm so glad I felt him tonight, yeah. like every other night, and it feels so good to be here. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> it's so nice to see my kids worshiping. Yeah. It lets me know they feel what I feel. I hope one day Gabriel is here with us. Yeah. But until then, we'll be here. <laughs> He's so Amen. good, and I'm so glad to be here tonight. Thank the Lord. Amen. 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 Our Lord Jesus is a, is a miracle worker, working miracles in our lives. Amen. The Chavez family is a miracle. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. 
Amen. And thank God for his goodness here tonight. Anybody else tonight? Anybody else tonight? Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. All right. Well, thank the Lord for his presence. Looking forward to his word tonight. Uh, I talked to my sister Teresa, Teresa, my, my sister. She's in, she said hi to everybody. And uh, I bought her plane ticket to come up to see us. So in a few weeks, she'll be with us. Uh, May 27th is the date that she's flying in, May 27th. And she'll be with us for at least two months. And if it's, uh, Lord willing, she'll be, be here, and make her home here, and come to church, get the Holy Ghost. Thank the Lord. But I covered your prayers that, uh, that uh, God touch her and deal with her heart. And uh, she make a safe flight and that she get here and, and uh, just God would just, you know, get a hold of her. Thank the Lord. It's going to be here tonight. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Thank God for his wonderful presence this evening. Thank God to make the acquaintance of these young men that have come to be with us tonight. Glad you made it here. Amen. So thankful for the presence of God and the work of the Lord in our hearts and lives. We would, like Sister Abigail, she would come and sing for the Lord this evening. Also, ladies, don't forget to meet with Sister Coleman right after service tonight in the fellowship hall. God bless you. Amen. to tell how Jesus saved my soul when I was lost and faced in dark despair the mortal tongue could never tell the 
should be all of our testimonies. He is all the world to me. God bless you. You may be seated. Please pray for a co-worker manager by the name of James Watson. He is in need of salvation and an unspoken request. And we have another unspoken request. That means it's uh, non-specific when unspoken. And God surely knows the circumstance and situation. So let's go before the Lord. James Watson, co-worker of Brother Gatikas. In need of salvation and an unspoken request and another unspoken request. Lord, we come before you tonight on behalf of these unspoken needs, Lord Jesus, for you know all things. Meet these hearts' needs, I pray, Lord God, whatever the situation is, your healing influence, your grace intervene, Lord God, and exercise direction in these hearts and lives, I pray, unto thy will and purpose we ask thee, O God. James Watson, touch his soul, his heart. Speak to him with Holy Ghost conviction, I pray thee, Lord God. Draw him with your cords of love, that he feel your compassion and your love reaching for him unto life everlasting, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Who would like to pray for the son spoken request in your devotion time? Somebody, Sister Lori. And James Watson, his salvation, and Sister Abigail. God bless you. You may be seated, Sister thankful for his presence and I was uh, listening to brother Ray Parker when he preached here the weekend that pastor and I were gone um, and I the part where he you know, I don't know if you guys even remember he had mentioned that he was excited to hear about the young people going out on Saturday and and witnessing inviting people to church and that he said that even if you um, if you don't see anybody come in from that effort God will reward you in other ways. And I thought, well, look, he already did because Sister Adeline got the Holy Ghost. And it's so, it's like, I hope she doesn't mind me <laughs> saying that. It's like a newborn baby, just that that joy, you know, that you feel when you have a, a newborn baby. Just to see them um, just come in and be clean all over. And I'm so thankful for the change that God, only God, can make in a life. And that's what this song is about. I think Brother Jonathan, I think, mentioned this song a while back, um, The Best of the Trade. I'm so thankful for living for God. It's everything to me. I love him tonight. Well, the Lord gave me beauty for ashes.
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. What I had to give up to receive this is nothing compared to what he gave me. Praise God. There is no comparison. Somebody said, well, I had to give up a lot. I did none. Amen. To give up all of the world is not to be compared with what he gives. And Jesus himself gave that comparison in the parable of the uh, pearl of great price. This man, when he found that pearl of great price, he was willing to sell everything he had to obtain that because that pearl was more valuable than all of his possessions. Praise God. And I'm so thankful that what God has given me is far richer and greater and grander than anything that I ever had in the world. I appreciate him tonight. Thank him for his loving kindness and his mercy. Praise the Lord. I am reading from Psalm 23 and verse number 5. Leo del libro, libro de Salmos, capítulo 23, versículo 5. Praise God. Psalm 23 and verse number 5, just a little bit. Salmos 23 y versículo 5. Amen. Thou preparest a table before me in the, in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. God bless you. You may be seated. Now my wife and I did not talk about this before service. But part of that song she sang was I've got so much more than I had before. And the psalmist said so long ago Thou anointest my head with oil My cup runneth over That God gives his people More than what they need Praise God I've got an abundance In the presence of Almighty God Yo tengo una abundancia en la presencia del Dios Todopoderoso. Amen. In the midst of the valley of the shadow of death, the psalmist can say, my cup runneth over. En medio de la valle del sombra de muerte, el salmista puede decir que mi vaso está rebosando. When I have to be in the presence of my enemies, the psalmist can say, my cup runneth over. Con Dios en la presencia de mis angustiadores, el salmista dice, mi vaso está rebosando. In life's dark valley, God does not forsake us. En la valle oscura de la vida, Dios no nos desampara. Amen. Some people call themselves our friends, but when the money dries up, they're no longer around. Algunos se llaman nuestros amigos, pero cuando se acaba el dinero, ellos ya no están. But the Lord is a friend that is closer than a brother. Mas el Señor es un, es un amigo que es más cercano que un hermano. And he is with us in the good times and in the bad times. Y él está con nosotros tiempos buenos y tiempos malos. And I'm so thankful he's there in the difficult times. Yo estoy feliz que ahí están tiempos duros. Because it is his strength that sustains me. Porque es sus fuerzas del cual me sostienen. Praise God. I can hardly believe the number of years that have passed by since I have received the Holy Ghost. This year is the 43rd year since God filled me with the Holy Ghost. It seems just like uh, a few days ago when I was at that camp meeting when God poured out His Spirit upon me. Sometimes when I'm driving through the town of Lacey where my parents live it looks like a completely different town. It just doesn't really look like it looked when I grew up. Lots of places experience radical change over the course of time. Puyallup has very much changed <laughs> especially this South Hill area those of you that are used to it now don't realize that most of it just used to be forest but over the course of some 30 years thousands and thousands of people have moved into this area and it has transformed the landscape dramatically 
cambió el lugar de gran manera. But while some places change dramatically, Así como lugares dramáticamente, there are some places that do not change. Hay que no that they look the same as they had Amen. A hundred years ago. Praise the Lord. Uh, there was a trestle by my folks' home that goes across the Nisqually River. My friends and I in our youth used to climb all over it. Of course, I did not tell my parents I would have gotten in trouble. But that railroad trestle was built back in 1912. And there are some graffiti on it from like 1967. Somebody built it well because it's still, amen, carrying trains across the river. Y alguien lo construyó bien porque todavía está cargando trenes para cruzar el río. But things that may have changed in the valley, that's one thing that has not changed. Las cosas que ha cambiado en el valle es algo del cual no ha cambiado. Some time ago I heard Elder Morgan preach a message about a new visit to an old place. Hace tiempo escuché el anciano Morgan que predicó un mensaje que un nuevo visitar de nuevo un lugar antiguo. Where he went back to the place where he was born again. And there was a renewed appreciation in his heart for what God has done for him. And it so moved me and inspired me. I told my wife, let's take the children down to the place where I receive the Holy Ghost. And I called the owners of the campground. And I asked if it would be permissible if we visited. And the woman said on the other line that would be perfectly fine. We, we often get phone calls like this of young people that had received the Holy Ghost at camp that want to make a pilgrimage so to speak to come back to this place and I wondered what it would look like after 30 years amen but as I drove up I was astounded at how little everything had changed that it looked just like I had remembered it and I was able to walk to the spot where God filled me with the Holy Ghost. And really, that spot would not mean a lot to a whole lot of people. Just a very small plot of ground that's there. Amen. Just like other spots of ground all over the world. But it was the place where I was standing. When God filled me with the Holy Ghost. It was a new visit to an old place. And it reminded me again that no matter what battles I had faced since then, my cup runneth over. God has been good to me. God called me out of darkness into his marvelous light. He did not leave me to fight the battle by myself. But he gave me more than enough of what I would need to fight the good fight of faith and to lay hold on eternal life. That's the kind of God that we serve. You don't lack anything that you need to make heaven your home. God will ensure and guarantee your victory. Dios se asegurará y garantizará tu victoria. If you put your hope in him. Si pones tu confianza en él. He is a God of victory, not of defeat. Él es un Dios de victoria, no de ser vencido. He is, is a God of assurance and not of doubt. Él es un Dios de seguridad y no de duda. Joel chapter 2 and verse 21. Libro de Joel capítulo 2 versículo 21. Fear not, O land. Tierra, no temas. Be glad and rejoice. Alégrate y gozate. For the Lord will do great things. Porque Jehová hará grandes cosas. Be not afraid, ye beasts of the field. Animales del campo, no temáis. For the pastures of the wilderness do spring. Porque los pasos del desierto reverdecerán. For the tree beareth her fruit. Porque los árboles llevarán su fruto. The fig tree and the vine do yield their strength. La higuera y la vid darán sus frutos. Be glad then, ye children of Zion. 
vosotros también y su sesión. And rejoice in the Lord your God. Alegraos y gozaos en Jehová vuestro Dios. For he hath given you the former rain moderately. Porque os ha dado la primera lluvia a su tiempo. And he will cause to come down for you the rain. Y hará descender sobre vosotros lluvia temprana. The former rain and the latter rain in the first month. Y tardía como al principio. And the floor shall be full of wheat. Las eras se llenarán de trigo. And the fat shall overflow with wine and oil. Y los lagares rebosarán de vino y aceite. And I will restore to you the years that the locust hath eaten. Y os resultará. Restituiré los años que comió la oruga. The canker worm and the caterpillar. La oruga, el saltón, el revoltón. And the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. Y la langosta, mi gran ejército que envié contra vosotros. And ye shall eat in plenty. Comeréis hasta saciaros. And be satisfied. Y alabaréis. And praise the name of the Lord your God. El nombre de Jehová vuestro Dios. That it dwelt wondrously with you. El cual hizo maravillas con vosotros. And my people shall never be ashamed. Y nunca jamás será mi pueblo avergonzado. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. Y conoceréis que en medio de Israel estoy yo. And that I am the Lord your God. Y que yo soy Jehová vuestro Dios. And none else. Y no hay otro. And my people shall never be ashamed. Y mi pueblo nunca jamás será avergonzado. And as I read these lines today I could not help but think of the Apostle Paul when he said I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth to the Jew first and also to the Greek that no matter what I have gone through in my life the Apostle Paul could say God has never forsaken me he has never left me alone I have I have been shipwrecked. I have been stoned. Some men covenanted to murder me. I have been persecuted. But God has never left me. And I want to declare one more time. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. There is no shame in him. Oh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. I don't want to open up any sores tonight. No quiero abrir ninguna llaga hoy. But Elder Pottinger told me about his daughter. Pero la anciana Pottinger me dijo de su hija. Her name was Tanya. Su nombre era Tanya. And she could not stand to be with her parents. Ella no podía soportar estar con sus padres. I mean, very early in life she developed a hatred for Pentecost. Bien temprano en su vida ella desarrolló un odio para Pentecostés. She was embarrassed by it. Everything about it, including the appearance of it. Now this shocked me, but they, I, I know that Elder and Sister Pottinger are in every way trustworthy. They said that when they went to restaurants, she would not even want to sit with them. Because of the shame that was associated with being with around them. Por causa de vergüenza que era asociado alrededor de ellos. And tragically, she lost her life at a very young age as a result of an automobile accident. Y ocurrió una tragedia que que ella llegó a perder su vida por resultado de un accidente de automóvil. A life of horrific tragedy. Una vida de tragedia. As a result of her rejecting, amen, the great prize and treasure that was in her own house. Que era resultado que ella rechazó el gran precio, el gran premio y tesoro que estaba en su propia casa. A spirit of rebellion had seized her. El espíritu de rebeldía la agarró. And it did not relinquish itself until the day that she died. Y no la soltó hasta el día que ella murió. Amen. And what makes it all the more horrific was that there was a great treasure in her house. Y lo que lo hizo hasta mucho más horrífico es que había un gran the greatest prize and the greatest treasure that anybody could ever receive they told me that when she got married of course out of the church and then during the ceremony there were some dogs that were nearby that began to howl in a mournful mournful howling en la área ellos comenzaron a ladrar un, un ladrar que era como de lástima o triste. Repeatedly a person tried to get those dogs to stop. Varias veces la gente trató a calmar los perros para que pararan. And they were unsuccessful. The dogs continued to howl through the course of the wedding. 
y no tenían éxito los perros seguían ladrando tocando el curso del matrimonio no dejaban de hollar los perros eventually somebody got the dogs to stop eventualmente alguien agarró que los perros paren but it gave a very uneasy feeling pero causó que se sintieran algo que no estaba bien and then of course just a little while later y después de poco tiempo news came that there was a car accident la noticia llegó que hubo un accidente she had hit her head on a roll bar in the vehicle that she was riding in ella golpeó su cabeza dentro del vehículo en el cual ella estaba. And there was swelling in the brain. Y comenzó a sangrar dentro del cerebro. She lingered for a while. Ella estuvo uh, vivo por And tiempo. And of course, what do you do? Y ahora, ¿qué haces? Amen. As parents, you're praying. En lo que los padres They, oran. they push the food away. Ellos alejaron de la comida. We're fasting. They called everybody they could call. Se ponen ayunas y le llamaron todos que podían llamar. Pray for my daughter that somehow God would spare her. Ora por mi hija que de alguna forma Dios la, la Dios tenga misericordia sobre ella. She would somehow survive this accident. Que de alguna forma sobrevivió a este accidente. That God would give her one more opportunity. Si Dios le da una oportunidad más. And regrettably she passed away. Y uh, la, lastimadamente ella falleció. And oddly enough. Y uh, tan raro. At the funeral at the grave site. Que un, en el uh, en el funeral un lado de la tumba. While they were performing the graveside ceremony. En lo que hacían la ceremonia un lado de la tumba. Some dogs in the area came running up by a fence. Unos perros en la área corrieron hacia la cerca. And they lifted their muzzles up unto the air. Y levantaron la trompa hacia el aire. And they began again that mournful wail. Y comenzaron de nuevo el aullar bien triste. Throughout the entire ceremony they wailed. Tocante todo el servicio ellos aullaron. And in spite of the best efforts of some to get them to be quiet. Aunque lo, eh, muchos esforzaron para a, a, a callarlo. Throughout that whole ceremony, they howled and they howled and they howled. Tocan toda esa ceremonia, ellos oyeron y oyeron y oyeron. Friend, I do not think it is coincidental. Hermano, yo no pienso es coincidencia. I think God sometimes gives the beasts of the field a sense of what is going on. Yo pienso que a veces Dios da los peces del campo un sentido de lo que ocurre. It is said at times when an earthquake is about to hit. Se ha dicho que a veces cuando un terremoto va a pegar. That the animals can sense it before it happens that they will go silent some will seek to hide themselves they can sense that something is happening and then the earth will begin to shake I am convinced they sense something terrible had happened that a great tragedy has occurred amen because somebody had rejected a prize that was in within their grasp that they were ashamed of but to every person that has received this treasure in their soul the shame has left them they are not ashamed of the gospel of Christ la vergüenza los ha dejado no saber sobre Jesus Evangelio. said whosoever shall be ashamed of me Jesús dijo, el que se de mí. in this adulterous and sinful generation en esta generación adultera, of him cosa, will I be ashamed de él, yo me when I come in the glory of my kingdom en la de mi reino. but God's people are not ashamed of him Pero el de Dios no se de él. you make fun of me all you want to Haz de mí todo lo que I'm quieras. not ashamed of anything no me that's de in the kingdom of God my cup runneth up mi copa está rebosando Praise the Lord, praise the Lord I'm not ashamed of his name No se avergüenza de su nombre Not ashamed of his kingdom No somos avergonzados de su reino Not ashamed of his people No somos avergonzados de su pueblo And not ashamed of his message Tampoco avergonzados de su mensaje So God is promising plenty for Israel Dios mucho para Israel. You have been rebellious. Ha sido you have suffered the effects of your sin. Ha sufrido los efectos de tu pecado. But I've got good news for you. Más te tengo buenas nuevas. For those that will hear a message of repentance. Para los que oyen mensaje de arrepentimiento. For those that will turn unto me. Para los que volteen hacia mí. I've got the former rain and I've got the latter rain for you. Yo tengo la lluvia temprana y tardía. I've got a blessing of abundance for you. Tengo 
Bendiciones en abundante para ti. Verse 28. And it shall come to pass afterward. Y después de eso derramaré. That I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Mi espíritu sobre toda carne. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Y profetizarán vuestros hijos y vuestras hijas. Your old men shall dream dreams. Vuestros ancianos soñarán sueños. Your young men shall see visions. Y vuestros jóvenes verán visiones. And also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit. Y también sobre los siervos sobre las siervas derramaré mi espíritu en aquellos días. Friend, you might be dirt poor. Amigo, pues, seas pobre. But if he poured his spirit out upon you, Pero si su espíritu en ti, your testimony tonight is voy es, my cup runneth over. Mi, mi copa está Amen. I have eaten in plenty. Yo tengo I'm living on the mountain Yo vivo en el monte. underneath a cloudless sky. Abajo de una... I'm feasting on the manna Estoy de mana. that never shall run dry. Del cual nunca se How are the words go? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You may be seated. Drinking from the fountain that never shall run dry. I've got plenty in the Lord. Praise the Lord. I am excited about what God is doing. Mom Coleman testified about it this morning. In the last few services, about something happening in the world, people in the world are sensing something is going on. People that don't even know God can sense there's something in the air. Praise God, just like the beasts of the field can sense there's something going on with the earth. And then Jesus spoke about men's hearts failing them for fear of the things that are coming on the earth oh yes amen Tire perilous times troublous times and it can get a whole lot worse someone said it can't get any worse than this oh yes it can friend it can get a whole lot worse but what did Jesus say when these things begin to come to pass then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draws nigh to the child of God you don't have to fear what's going to happen behold the bridegroom cometh go ye out to meet him Woo, hallelujah praise the Lord you may be seated In other words, if Jesus is coming, it's an exciting time for the church. He said, you know when it is, when it is near, even at the doors. There'll be an anticipation in the people of God. Even so, come Lord Jesus. Ready to go. Staff in my hand. Shoes on my feet. Bags are packed. We're ready to go. As soon as the trumpet sounds, we're going. Praise the Lord. If you're not ready, the door is still open. You can walk through the door. If you're not ready, because the bridegroom is coming. Praise the Lord. Malachi 3 and 10. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse. That there may be meat in mine house. And prove me now herewith. Sayeth the Lord of hosts. If I will not open you the windows of heaven. And pour you out a blessing that there shall not be room enough to receive it amen there is something about serving God amen we give of our finances we give of our time we give of our lives and the Lord said whatever you sow you're going to reap there are benefits to living for God he said seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness 
and all these things shall be added unto you. Amen. You might consider yourself poor tonight. But you can look at your life no matter what your struggles are and say, look what the Lord hath done. I've got so much more than I've had before. Look what the Lord hath done. Oh, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Amen, amen. Someone said, Brother Coleman, is the glass half full or half empty? Alguien pregunta, hermano Coleman, ¿el vaso está medio lleno o está medio vacío? And they say, if you say it's half empty, y dice que si dices que está medio vacío, you're a negative person. Que eres una persona negativa. Praise the Lord. If you say it's half full, you're a positive person. So what do you say? Is the glass half empty or is it half full? I say you've got half a glass of water. That's what you've got. If it's full, I'll say it's full. If it's empty, I'll say it's empty. If it's half filled, I'll say it's half filled. It is what it is. But I have confidence in God that whether the glass is half full or half empty or is all the way empty, my cup runneth over. That glass, no matter how much water is in it, doesn't compare to my cup. Because I've got more than enough. It's not just at the brim, it's running over. That's how God has been good to me. I've got no complaints in the Lord. Praise the Lord. Say, I can't afford to pay my tithe. I like what one preacher said, I can't afford not to. God gives me way more than I give. The very best that I can give does not compare to what he's given to me. And God takes care of his people. Isaiah 25 and 4 for thou hast been a strength to the poor a strength to the needy in his distress a refuge from the storm a shadow from the heat when the blast of the terrible ones is as a storm against the wall and if you live for God any length of time. You can identify with the storm. Praise the Lord. Someone can call you and say, how's life? You can say it's storming out there. But my cup is running over. I'm going through the storm but I have a refuge in God several years ago Sister Coleman and I wanted to spend some time together and uh, so we went to Ocean Shores and we got a, got a hotel room out there and uh, we, we, we didn't pick the right day because it was a stormy day in Washington you've got to expect a lot of rain and the wind was whipping up out there the, the rain was pouring it just wasn't a day to go out walking and uh, went walking around in the hotel and they've got an area in the hotel since it's, it's, it's by the ocean of an area where you can view the ocean. And they got a little walkway to go on out a little ways. That's completely sheltered, but it's, it's all like a, a windowed area where you can look out. So I walked over there and you could see the waves just being whipped by the wind. 
Yo salí hacia allá y puedes ver uh, las olas que están siendo movidas por el aire. And you could hear the splattering of the raindrops as it was driven by the wind into the uh, window where I was standing. Y puedes oír cómo lo, las gotas de la lluvia estaban golpeando contra las ventanas donde yo estuve. And I thought, what a storm. Yo me quedé pensando, qué tormenta. I guess we chose the wrong weekend to come here. Pues escogimos el fin de semana equivocado para venir. But not one raindrop hit me. Pero ninguna gota me tocó. I didn't feel one blast of the wind. No sentí ningún, ningún aire. Because I had a refuge in the middle of the storm. Porque yo tuve refugio en medio de la tormenta. And you know, just as a child of God, you cannot help but draw parallels. A veces como hijo de Dios no puedes soportar pero hacer paralelos. You don't have to be a preacher to draw a parallel. No tienes que ser un predicador para hacer un paralelo. And I thought, how many storms have I gone through in my life? Yo me quedé pensando, ¿cuántas tormentas he pasado en mi vida? I'm so thankful God was there. Yo doy gracias que Dios estaba ahí. To be my refuge. Para ser mi refugio. That somehow I survived. De alguna forma yo sobreviví. Because I was in the hollow of his hand. Porque yo estaba en el vacío de su mano. And he said, no man can pluck you out of my hand. Y él dijo, ningún hombre te podrá sacar de mi mano. The devil himself cannot pluck you out of my hand. El diablo mismo no te podrá sacar de mi mano. And I thought, what does the world do without that kind of refuge? Y me quedé pensando, ¿qué hace el mundo sin este tipo de refugio? Without that kind of promise. Sin este tipo de promesa. And I thank the Lord again. Le doy gracias a Dios otra vez. For reminding me one more time. Por recordarme una vez más. That he is my shelter in the middle of the storm. Que él es mi refugio en medio de la tormenta. When Israel was wandering in the wilderness, Israel estaba entre el desierto, God fed them every day. Dios los alimentó diario. Praise the Lord. When you don't know where your next meal is coming from, it's a terrible feeling. They're saying that there was a manufactured famine uh, engineered by the dictator Joseph Stalin in the Soviet Union. Dicen que hay una hambre en 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 la Unión Soviética que era hecho por manos de un hombre que se llamaba Stalin. It directly affected the Ukraine. Directamente afectó Ucrania. And uh, because the Ukraine had been more independent minded and Stalin did not like that. Por causa que Ucrania era tenía la mentalidad de independencia y a Stalin no le gustaba eso. So they said that he took their crops and starved them. Se dice que él tomó la, uh, su, la, las plantas que ellos tenían de sus cosechas y los les causó hambre. It is estimated that five to eight million people starved to death in this man-made famine. Es estimado entre cinco y ocho millones de personas murieron de hambre en este tiempo de hambre. It, said, it was said that parents would murder their children rather than to watch them starve to death. Era dicho que algunos padres mataban a sus hijos en vez de verlos que se murieran de hambre. Some parents killed and ate their own children. Y algunos padres mataron y se comieron sus propios hijos. That's what people will do es lo que la gente hará when they are hungry enough. Cuando tienen suficiente hambre. And when Israel had no food, Israel no tuvo comida. God fed them every single day. Dios los alimentó diario. Every morning they woke up and manna was on the ground. Cada mañana se levantaron y manna estuvo en la tierra. And when he said, the one day you will not gather manna. Él dijo que algún día tú no vas a recoger manna. On the Sabbath day. El día de reposo. I will give you double the previous day. So that you'll have enough to eat on the Sabbath day. Oh, praise the Lord, everyone. And manna was such that if you tried to store it and save it up, it would just rot away. Except on the day before the Sabbath, it survived to the next day so that Israel could eat. Every day Israel woke up with the reminder, God is our bread of life. And over 40 years, I don't ever want to forget that the Lord has sustained me by the power of his word. When he said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of the Lord thy God. He has fed me all these years. Praise the Lord. When nobody else could feed my soul, he has fed my soul. When the famine came to Israel, God made certain that Elijah was fed. Even causing the birds to bring him food. God knows how to sustain his people in the famine. 
Dios sabe cómo sostener su pueblo entre el hambre. There was a widow woman and her son running out of meal and running out of oil. Había una mujer viuda y su hijo que se les acababa lo que ocupaban para el aceite y el trigo. Lord, the Lord tested her faith. El Señor probó su su fe. Sending the man of God to her. Enviando el varón de Dios a ella. Amen. And telling her to make me a cake. And the woman responded to him and said, I have not a cake for you. I only have enough for me and my son. And that we may eat it, it's our last meal, and after that we have no more food. And the preacher said, make me one first. Oh, there was a lot of people that would be upset over that. Amen. Here this woman told you she's got one more meal left and you want some of it. But he made the request with a promise. For thus saith the Lord, the barrel of meal shall not fail, waste, and the cruise of oil shall not fail until God sends rain upon Israel. This was a test of faith. Am I going to believe what this man of God just said? Or I'm going to ignore him and just eat my meal anyway? And then starve to death myself and my son. But in response to the word of God, she made him a little cake first and when she went back there was enough for her and her son to eat and to enjoy for that day and enough the next day and enough the next day day after day and week after week until amen, the prophet the man of God said arise and get thee up for I hear the sound of an abundance of rain. Amen. God said Dios dijo, Amen. You will reap what you sow. Lo que if siembras. you believe me, si me crees, if you believe my promise, si mi promesa, you shall not be disappointed. No será Amen. You shall never be ashamed Nunca of trusting God. De you Dios. shall never be ashamed Nunca of following me. De Praise the Lord. Samaria was in great famine. The enemy army had cut off their supplies. And, and again, great famine reigned in the city. Eating their own children. And yet, the man of God prophesied that the very next day there would be an abundance of food. Pero el varón de Dios profetizó que el próximo día había, va a haber abundancia de comida. And there was a man había un hombre that uh, was not like the widow woman. Que no era como la mujer viuda. He said, if the Lord should make windows in heaven, él dijo, si el Señor abrará ventanas en el cielo, would this thing be? Será esto así? And the man of God said, you'll see it with your eyes, y el varón de Dios dijo, tú lo verás con tus ojos, but you'll not taste any of it. Más no probarás de allí. Amen. And God cause fear, amen, to enter into the army. And, and they left as quickly as they could and left all of their supplies including all of their food. God knows how to make a way where there doesn't seem to be any way. And the whole city was fed because they could say, Look what the Lord has done. God knows how to open a door that you think cannot be opened. God knows how to hear and answer your prayer. Amen. Because they that put their trust in Him shall never be ashamed. Their cup runneth over. Oh, praise the Lord. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Let's feed this multitude, Jesus said. Did he say, feed all these people? 200 penny worth of bread won't feed this bunch. But Jesus knew what he would do. 
Mas Jesús supo lo que le iba a hacer. Praise the Lord. He was able to take just a little bit of food and multiply it among the multitude so that everybody ate to their fill. Now these are not given to us in the word of God. Simply to tell you that groceries will magically appear on, in your cupboard. Simplemente para decirte que la marqueta de un repente va a aparecer en tus gabinetes. Because though we have physical needs, porque aunque tengamos necesidades físicas, and God supplies our needs, y Dios trae suplir toda necesidad, there is a deeper message in all of that. Hay un mensaje más profundo en todo eso. Because our earnest desire is to be with Him forever. And as a child of God, you know there is a battle for your soul every day. The devil can more or less leave you alone when you're already serving him. But when you begin to serve the Lord, he will fight against you. And the Bible said your adversary, the devil, walketh about as a roaring lion. Seeking whom he may devour. But God allows us to read these testimonials. Pero Dios permite que leemos esos testimonios to instill in us assurance and faith para poner nosotros seguridad y fe that no matter how loudly the devil roars que no importa qué tan recio esté uh, aullando el diablo and no matter how difficult the task may be o no importa qué tan dificultoso sea la obra the Lord will supply all of our need according to His riches and glory el Señor suplirá toda necesidad de acuerdo a sus riquezas y gloria. He will walk with us every step of the way. Él caminará con nosotros cada paso que I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. Nunca te dejaré ni te desampararé. I am with you always unto the end of the world. Yo estoy contigo hasta el fin del mundo. You will have everything that you need to have victory over the devil. Tú tendrás todo lo que tú ocupas para tener victoria sobre el diablo. Praise the Lord. And I can say after 43 years Yo puedo decir después de 43 that años, has proven true. Que eso lo he comprobado verdad. Isaiah 41 and 10. Fear thou not. No temas. I, for I am with thee. Porque yo estoy contigo. Be not dismayed. No desmayes. For I am thy God. Porque yo soy tu Dios. I will strengthen thee. Que te esfuerzo. Yea, I will help thee. Siempre te ayudaré. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Siempre te sostentaré con la diestra de mi justicia. Don't worry about a thing. No te preocupes de una cosa. I'm right there with you. I will be your strength. I will be your help. Praise the Lord. When you can't stand, I'll be there to hold you up. With the right hand of my righteousness. Praise the Lord. So that when temptation comes, when the carnal nature asserts itself for the things of the flesh, don't fear because I'm going to uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness my holiness will sustain you so that you are not swallowed up of the world and in closing Psalm 37 and 28 for the Lord loveth judgment and forsaketh not his saints they are preserved forever but the seed of the wicked shall be cut off what an assurance God will never forsake me praise the Lord he is there in my darkest night some people are going through a black black night right now and no matter how much you may wish it otherwise those clouds will be there for a long time and I'm not attempting to dwell on a subject it's just reality continue to pray for brother Benjamin 
Sister Isabel. Sigan orar por hermano Benjamín y hermana Isabel. The funeral is past. El funeral ya ha pasado. But they are still suffering. Mas ellos siguen sufriendo. And they will suffer for some time. Y van a sufrir por buen tiempo. The day after day of día, emptiness. Día tras día de vacío. And yet the testimony that I hear from them is they're so thankful that they can go to the house of God and feel God's presence. And that reminds me of the old song that said, where could I go but to the Lord? To whom will the world go when they suffer that kind of loss? ¿A quién irá al mundo cuando sufren este tipo de pérdida? And yet we can turn to the Lord. Más podemos voltear al Señor. You say, Pastor Coleman, why did God allow that to happen? Dices, Pastor Coleman, ¿por qué es que Dios permitió que eso ocurra? I do not know. No sé. Sometimes I wish I'd know. A veces me gustaría saber. But I do know this. Pero sí sé esto. His way is always perfect. Que su camino siempre es perfecto. And God is working something out for his purpose and glory. Y Dios está trabajando algo para su propósito y su gloria. I don't have the authority to question God. Yo no tengo la autoridad de preguntarle a Dios. But I can praise him. Pero sí le puedo alabar. In the good times and in the bad times. En tiempos buenos, tiempos malos. That God does not forsake his people. Que Dios no desampara a su pueblo. And even in the midst of loss. Y hasta en medio de gran pérdida. And in the midst of sorrow and agony. Somebody can still say, my cup runneth over. I have more than enough in God. He is still the best thing that has ever happened to me. Praise the Lord. And in our lives, no matter how black the clouds may be, the sun is shining in our souls. El sol sigue brillando en nuestras almas. And God will one day roll all those clouds away. Y Dios algún día va a quitar todas esas nubes. In the light of his glory and grace. En la luz de su gloria y gracia. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Aunque yo camine por la valle de la sombra de muerte. I will fear no evil. Ningún mal temeré. For thou art with me. Porque tú andas conmigo. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Tu, tu vara y tu collado me, me dan consuelo. Let's all stand. Praise the Lord. I said recently to somebody who questioned God. Yo le dije alguien recientemente del cual tuvo preguntas hacia Dios. I said, how is it that you can sit on the seat of eternity and judge the actions of God. Les pregunté cómo es que tú te puedes sentar en la silla de eternidad y preguntarle las acciones de Dios. Your life is nothing but a tiny speck compared to all of eternity. Tu vida no es nada pero una pequeña es una cosa bien pequeña comparado a tu eternidad. You could never see what God sees. Tú nunca podrás ver lo que Dios ve. You could never come close to comprehending the perfect, infinite God. Tú nunca podrás llegar ni siquiera acercarte a entender el Dios infinito. Reminded me what the Apostle Paul wrote in the book of Romans. Me recuerdo lo que dijo el Apostle Pablo en el libro de Romanos. Who art thou that repliest to God? ¿Quién eres tú del cual le contesta a Dios? I do know through his revelation his way is perfect. And that's what Job could say. In the midst of his black night. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. And in my sorrow, my cup still runs over. Can we love the Lord tonight? Thank you, Jesus. Oh, precious Lord, precious He's more than enough. He's more than enough. He is El Shaddai. 
the God of plenty, the all-sufficient one, God Almighty, Jesus is more than enough. He's more than enough. He is more than enough. He is El Shaddai, the God of plenty, the all-sufficient one, God Almighty. Jesus is more than enough. Thank you, Lord. We praise you. We love and appreciate you, Lord God. You are worthy of all of the praise, <coughs> all of the glory, all of the honor. We lift you up and magnify your precious name. How wonderful you are in everything. We praise you. We adore you. We magnify your name. Thank you, Jesus, for supplying all of our needs according to your riches and glory. Praise God. May God bless all of you as you walk in the truth. You're dismissed in Jesus' name. Ladies, don't forget.